Hey everyone, it's August 11th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with German mass murderer Martin Perel, who killed four victims in 1999, and that is him right up there, and I'd like to apologize for the terrible German pronunciation you're going to hear in this video. Perel was born in 1983 and was raised in Bad Reichenhall, near the Austrian border. He was considered a loner and outsider at school with very few friends. His father was an unemployed alcoholic, so his home life was far from ideal as well. Perel was an avid gun enthusiast as a teen, buying gun magazines and often heading out into the forest to shoot at birds. His father, a retired soldier from the German army, was also a gun collector, owning as many as 19 firearms. What could possibly go wrong? When he wasn't spending his time obsessing over guns, Perel played video games and researched the Nazi regime. He was suspended from school in 1999 for having photographs of Nazi propaganda in his notebook. Classmates recall that Perel seemed impressed by the actions of the Columbine school shooters in April of that year, saying that it was something we should do. On November 1st, 1999, Perel's parents went to visit the grave of his grandparents for All Saints Day, a yearly tradition. As soon as they left, he broke into his father's gun cabinet and removed the weapons, then positioned himself at his bedroom window. He began firing indiscriminately at anyone and anything he could see moving down on the street. He killed two neighbors and a patient at a nearby hospital who had stepped outside to smoke. Additionally, he wounded eight others, including an actor who lived nearby. His sister worked at the hospital and returned home, leading to a struggle with her brother. She soon was on the receiving end of a hail of bullets being shot five times, killing her. He then shot the family cat, sat down in the bathtub, and killed himself with a blast from a shotgun to his chest. No note was left to give a motive, and nothing concrete was ever discovered. When police arrived at the apartment, they discovered paintings of swastikas and other Nazi symbols in his bedroom, and a photo of Hitler hanging above his sister's bed. Investigators believe that this was not a spontaneous act, but that he planned it out well in advance. No illicit substances were found in his system, so he wasn't under the influence of any drugs at the time. Changes were made to German firearm regulations as a response to Payroll's rampage. Imagine that, a government responding to a terrible occurrence by trying to prevent it from ever happening again. I wonder what that's like. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Martin Payroll, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.